All right, so today's project is to rehab the mailbox. Now, I say rehab, but it's actually it's in pretty good shape. What I am doing is I'm going to take all the mailbox off, the flower bed off, I'm going to take the, the numbers off, the, the decorative stuff, the light off, all that stuff off. I'm going to pressure wash it, scrub it down, and then we are going to stain it. So that's today's project. Oh, I don't have the right bit. Sucks. Be back. Never again will this be installed. Oh, my okay. What are you doing? Yeah, fly ass. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna spray this down, just get it wet, and then I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna apply the Scott's Outdoor Cleaner and see how that does for me. I think it's a simple green knockoff by Scott's, personally, I, I really don't know what's in here, but it says it's good for wood, composite vinyl. So if I like the job that it does on this mailbox, I'll go back and I'm gonna buy some more of the stuff and I'll use it on the vinyl side and on the side of my house and I'll use it on the back porch and the front, front porch and, and go from there, you know? And then it's cheap enough, it's like 10 bucks for this gallon, you know? I mean, how do you beat that? Squeak, squeak, squeak. You tell me what you think. I think I think this looks a lot better. All right. Compare that to the old style to the new style. I think the rinse off made a really big difference. I'm going to put a clear coat sealer on it and it's hopefully going to keep Let's See if I can do that again. No. That color <laughs> it probably won't come out that good in post. All right, let's go catch up with Mama, see what she's doing. She's putting out the fall decorations for October. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Right? That's the uh, scary noise. Check it out. Mama decorated the steps. Looks nice. Looks nice. Let's see what she did in the front. Putting 
mums in the flower pot to uh, spice up the little flowers in the back of the mailbox. It's gonna look great! All right, so today we're gonna try out this Olympic water guard. It's a clear wood sealer that I purchased at the Home Depot. I saw Jimmy Lewis use it in one of his videos and uh, I mean, he seemed to be happy with it so it's worth a try for me. It's pretty inexpensive stuff. And uh, we're just gonna put that on the mailbox and we're gonna see how it does. The idea behind it is it's, it's already pressure treated so it really shouldn't be affected by the wood so much, but I do wanna kinda try and fight off the UV rays and, and the damage that does to it as well as keeping it clean. So we're gonna see, uh, we'll just, we'll reapply it every year pressure wash, reapply, pressure wash, reapply. The mailbox should be really easy to do. And it, and that nice yellow color that the wood already naturally has contrasts well with the kind of like the black facade pieces and the black mailbox I'm using on it already. So this should really help maintain the, the nice look I have on my mailbox already. Um, to apply it, I'm using this, this Flowmaster uh, spray tank. Um, it was 20 bucks at the Home Depot, so it was very, very inexpensive. If I like how it works, I'll use it for more projects around the house as far as applying sealer. And um, we're just gonna give it a try. I don't know anything about it. I didn't read anything, research, watch any YouTube videos, none of that. I'm just just going out there winging it with this thing. So we'll see, hopefully it works the way I want it to. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll use it, be able to use it for the front and the back porch as well. So let's get to it. All right, so I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. Uh, but we're gonna give it a try. Everything's here, it's dry, it's clean, it's ready to go. So we're just gonna get it sprayed and get to it. Hopefully it all sticks, it comes out looking real nice. I don't know if that's gonna be the case or not, but I'm gonna try and spray it evenly. I like the tip on this hose end, this hose sprayer. It's actually, uh, it's really nice. So for a $20 cheap little sprayer, it's got a nice little fan tip that I, I didn't realize it even came with. So I'm really looking forward to using that and seeing how quickly I can get this thing sprayed. We finished that. Um, I'm gonna run back real quick. I'm not gonna record it, but I'm gonna run back real quick and hit it with a brush. Well, maybe I'll record that, I don't know. But point being is, uh, we finished, finished uh, spraying it. Went on super duper thick, way thicker than it probably needs to be. And, uh, and yeah, uh, was the pump sprayer for the wood sealer's success? Yes and no. Yes, because it was really easy to apply. Just dump it in, spray it on. No, because, I don't know, I just, it, it ain't like a, it wasn't like a paint sprayer, like the fancy paint sprayer, but it's a $20 pump. But yes, for convenience, I'll say yes. For small projects like this, maybe not for my whole deck. My whole deck, I think I'm gonna have to invest in a better tool. So we'll see how it goes. Let me grab that paintbrush and we'll get that finished. And, uh, and then after it dries tomorrow, we can uh, put the pieces back on. Right. that's it that's what she looks like that's the after um, I think it's a little bit better is it a lot of it better no but it's it's clear it's the color it was before it's a natural look for it I really like it if I can maintain it every year I think that's gonna look 
phenomenal. I'm gonna get the 911, sorry, 911 address signs on there now. And uh, that's it, we're gonna call it good. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it was a fun little quick project, easy to do. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.